Hey friends, I usually don't do these kinds of videos, so please bear with me as it's gonna be kind of sketchy. There's a lot of information to go through actually to get this working, um, but the idea is if you have a Zcam and you're able to get an ethernet cable and possibly a, an ethernet to USB converter, you are gonna be able to live stream at least to Facebook uh, with the camera and nothing else. You're not gonna need like, the little um, switch boxes or, you know, black magic, no, no extra costs really. Um, it involves using, I think three or four pieces of software I'm going to mention. All of them are free. Um, there's lots of little details. And if anything goes wrong at one of those points, it won't work. But I'm doing this for people that are kind of stuck in a situation where they're at home, they've got nothing to do. They just want to get this damn thing working. So I'm going to attempt to hit all those fine points that should make the difference and get you live streaming today. All right. So the first thing you want to do is you want to um, do a search for Zcam Stream Converter. Now that Stream Converter is the software that is going to essentially take your camera and make it discoverable in part. Without the software, if you take a cable or whatever and plug your camera into a desktop or a laptop, it's not going to work. You're not going to, it's not going to be picked up by the streaming software that, that delivers to Facebook or, you know, whatever platform you're using, Twitch or YouTube. Um, I'm saying just Facebook for now because I haven't done a test on the other um, platforms. I'm pretty confident that it'll work on all of them, but I just, I haven't tested it. So... For right now, this is single camera Facebook live streaming. Cool. All right, once that's done, go to OBS, as you can see here, and download and install OBS Studio. We're just gonna start there for now. It's available on uh, three platforms, Windows, Mac, and Linux. So get that, install it. All right, so we've already downloaded and installed Zcam Stream Converter. We've downloaded and installed OBS software. Now we need NDI, and what NDI does is it makes the camera, the camera more discoverable within OBS. So it's almost like it turns it into, the software sees it as a webcam, essentially. Kind of, just to simplify things. So you're gonna see a highlighted link to download it. Do that, extract it, and then, this is clutch, this is your power move. Copy all those files from the folder and, and move them to the OBS root folder. And then you will have like the option to um, import an NDI source, which is how you're going to um, select the Z camera within OBS. Ooh, complicated, I know, right? We're almost there. All right, there's a lot of ground to cover here, so I'm gonna try to talk quickly. Um, beauty is you can pause it and go back. So first thing you do, plug in your camera with the cable, turn the camera on. Once the camera's on, you can open up the Zcam Stream Converter software, right? And if everything is correct, your camera should just pop up. We're gonna open up the actual um, Zcam Stream Converter software and take a look. All the camera settings should be um, there just like you have them in the camera and you can actually change them through the app in, as opposed to on the camera. Um, up in the left-hand corner, you'll see your IP address of the camera. You can click the Start Preview button. It'll pop up a window to verify like whatever your camera's looking at right now. So that's what that window is. Um, if you see that, that's a great sign. You can stop that, minimize, um, <clears throat> that window or whatever. The next part is absolutely clutch. You have to hit start. Hit start and that essentially like puts your camera in the game. That starts sending the signal. So once you get into OBS, your streaming software, it will be able to receive your camera. If you don't hit start, um, the software will not be able to find your camera no matter what. So huge, huge little detail there. Okay, so now that we have our Zcam present in the Stream Converter, we're going to go right into the Streamlabs OBS software and just some basic setup stuff here with resolution, etc. There's a whole bunch of stuff to learn within the software, but I'm going to try to stick to bullet points. So the first thing you need to do inside there is add the camera. 
So you add a source and it's going to be the NDI source. That was the whole purpose of all that software downloading and moving around before. So, um, so yeah, select that, rename it something intelligent so you, that you know that it's your camera. So Zikami 2, yeah, woo! Okay, so that's on there. It's named, um, and you can see that it has like a Zcam stream converter. I'm shooting the thrilling um, horizontal blinds in my office. Um, but yeah, as you can see, like it's live. I moved the camera just to verify that it's not like an image or something. Um, so that is a live feed. Cool. The next step is going to be streaming. Um, again, take a little time, learn this software. There's a lot to it, but it's actually not that complicated. There's just, it's just not super intuitive, but it's pretty straightforward to use. The next step is to go and Google Facebook live producer. It's going to pull up a page with a stream key. That's what you need. Copy the stream key, bring it back to OBS on the stream page of um, OBS. If you hit stream to custom ingest, you'll get a page like this, which allows you to put a stream key and publish on more than just a Facebook gaming page. Boom, done. Um, the last thing I just hit live, go live on the bottom, um, bottom corner green, which is now red. You can see, um, it says end stream now, um, back to the live producer page, left hand corner. There is a preview, basically a real time live feed. I just expanded it. So you want to see this cause this is what's going to show. This is the, the live version. So if you're seeing, um, things as you should, you have like volume and you have the correct image and everything like that. Uh, the only thing left to do is, you know, title it or whatever and hit go live and that's it. You will be going live on Facebook with your video. Um, I'm sorry, this was like a little sketchy. I don't do these and honestly, I'm throwing this together. I just want to put some information out there and be available to answer any questions about it. Um, again, I'm not a tutorial pro, so please forgive me for the numerous shortcomings in this video. Um, thanks for watching. Good luck. Again, if you want to get just one camera streaming in um, the least expensive way right now, this is a, this is a great option. Um, yeah. Good luck. Happy streaming.